Yeah, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining again. And uh, yeah, out on the Triumph today. Such a glor it's a glorious day today. Sun's out, so yeah, let's uh, jump on and uh, get rolling. Let's fire her up. One thing with Triumph, it has to go through this start-up process before you can start the bike up. You can't just jump on and hit the start button. Here we go. Yeah, anyway, the main main topic, topic of conversation today is uh, the, the new Triumph, well, I say new, the Project Triumph TE1, which is uh, Triumph's, it's been, it's been uh, under development for, uh, for a while now. I think it was first started in May 9, 2019. I've been following it sort of, you know, on the way through and what have you. And yeah, what it is, is Triumph's electric, that'll be Triumph's electric bike. So, uh, very, very, very interested in that. I say the prototype's coming along by the looks of things. And uh, they're starting to release a few figures here and there of um, what we can expect from the, from the TE1. I see they're saying that they're, they're sort of stating already that you can charge the block the bike from zero to 80% of its charge, zero to 80% of its charge in under 20 minutes. Now that's, to be honest, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect that at all. I mean, I know, I know a lot of the other uh, models, um, you know, talking about possibly switching batteries over rather than charging. And um, we're still not heavily dependent on the info infrastructure of the, you know, the charging points and what have you. Yeah, so that's very interesting figures there. Same with the performance, you know, the power. I think they're talking about 130 kilowatt. 130 kilowatt, which I think equates in uh, sort of brake, brake horsepower term figures. I think it's probably about 175 plus, may even be more, uh, brake, brake horsepower which is a lot of power and I think you get that power that power delivery obviously from the minute you wind that, that throttle open you know so the torque the torque will be absolutely unbelievable yeah very very impressed very impressed with that the only thing I, I kind of like what I am thinking though uh, off the top of my head I mean they're talking about like you know they're basing the figures you know the charging times and the running times and you know of the of the bike on like you know estimated ride outs because uh, they do listen to the customer they're listening to the customer and they have to base their you know what they're trying to achieve on what the customer wants you know as well which they do so yeah the only thing i'm thinking is kind of like if you're going out with your mates you know because we are moving on to ele um, electric bikes and they'll be like the you know the internal combustion engine and there's a lot to be said for it but things are moving on the e-bike so if you're out with your mates on your e-bikes and you pull over and have a coffee and you stop for 20 minutes then uh, you're all going to be wanting to charge your bikes you know and if you are you say you stop somewhere you can't always guarantee, you know, you don't, you don't, you, don't, you know, you, you've got to rely for road closures and things like that as well. You know, I've been out recently and the, the, I've, I've had a route planned and the roads have been closed and I've had to divert, you know. It's all these little things that you have to think about. It's just these little things as well. It's the little things that, uh, you know, need, need to be ironed out. But anyway... You know, that's, that's, that's just one of my thoughts on it. You could all be scrambling for an electronic uh, electric charge point. It's not, yeah, you might be able to charge your bike in 20 minutes, but if there's a load of you, you're not going to be riding off in a group again if you all want to leave it, you know, if you all want to charge. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you're just passing through, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Plenty more content coming. Plenty more content coming to the channel. And yeah, thanks for joining me today. Just a little discussion on the on the TE1, Triumph's new project e-bike, electric bike. 
so yeah I think they're saying that they're a lot so I don't want to quote too many figures because it is still a project and um, I think they're saying that the battery voltage is about 330 volts so through to your motor so your DC power 330 volts through to your your motor through the inverter you're probably looking at about 170 something you know in comparison 177 thereabouts brake horsepower which is a lot of power it's a lot of power instant power as well it's like the old twisting goes on, a, on another level and I'll tell you another thing I love the looks I know it's a prototype a project prototype but it looks to me like it's based on the let's wind up a little it's based on the speed triple the new speed triple you know and that looks amazing and I think they craft the bikes you know like the mule the the prototype bike is crafted out of clay it's actually crafted out of clay and they make these minor changes you know throughout its development process to get a, you know the idea on what, what, what the final bike is going to look like so they can look at the bike at all different angles all different angles and go you know yeah that looks brilliant you know well that don't quite look right we're going to change it but yeah if it looks anything like the the the, pro, the prototype bike then it's going to look an amazing bike very very impressed so far from what i've seen however it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get our bums on the seats for for quite a while yet and what they also need to be uh make sure is that dem demonstrators are available i'm not going to name brands what i have uh you know tried to get a test on a another electric bike and they haven't had a a demonstrator and they've just said no you can come in and look at one in the flesh but you can't demonstrate it and this was a city dealer a dealer in the main you know in a main city so it needs to be addressed that we need demonstrators so uh you know to make them available for everyone to jump on and ride it looks like as well that it's going to have um high-end components you have your brembo brakes all your you know your high-end components i think the only thing that does look to me like it's um you know been used off other models is a swinging arm looks like a b triple swinging arm um yeah so I don't, I'm not too sure what else they've used, but the bike will have to have, well it has, as far as I'm aware, you'll have to have traction control, ABS, anti-wheelie, probably built into your traction control as, as they normally are. So I'll have all the rider aids and you certainly would require it on a, on a bike of that, you know, that calibre. I saw a very, very impressed and I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to maybe at some point jumping on one and uh, having a ride maybe even uh, you know move on to an e-bike at some stage or add another one to the collection <laughs> another thing that you know people will miss will be the the sound you know if you're into your triumphs you know the triple tr the triples you've got that distinguishable triumph wine and you know sound of the 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 engine you know and yeah it's obviously triumph of a uh, well known for the sound of their engine and how smooth the engine is and <laughs> looks like you've got you know other than triumph you've got four other experts in the you know in the field across the board who are uh, you know joined up and uh, they're working on this project so you know there's there's lots and lots of thought gone into this you know if you've got a company developing the motor but yeah when you look at what is it 135 kilowatt or 130 kilowatt thereabouts a lot of power it's a lot of instantaneous power when you open that throttle be interested to sort of see to see the power curve you know because i can't imagine you've got that you know that that power all the way up you know it's got to get to a point where where you have you know it, it it's kind of flat lines and what have you 
but very very interested to see that slow down a tad it seems like there's a lot a lot of engineering and a lot of thought going into this model so I can't I don't know you know when they're looking at you know release dates I don't think they look at their sort of anywhere near that at the moment but I think it could potentially be looking maybe even even next year before we, you know before they announce release dates and prices and that sort of thing because you know that's another thing is it going to be priced you know it needs to be priced relatively you know competitive as well not quite a white van man but we've got the Tesco's delivery van I think he's make sure you can see me in his mirror all right, I'm going for the overtake manoeuvre but yeah like I said, I've been following this project kind of you know for a while so I know it's been on the cards and what have you and uh, to actually see you know to see some images and what we you know what we can expect in the future certainly very uh, very easy on the eye I'll watch it around here there's lots of little monk jacks I had a couple run out in front of well I had one of them run out in front of me the other day and I brake because I thought they, they're normally in pairs and uh, yeah just as I stopped he ran out in front he kind of looked at me as if to say thanks mate <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway yeah much appreciated much appreciated for you uh, coming along you know for watching the video today right, so if you haven't subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button there'll be much more content coming Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of all future uploads as they as they're uploaded yeah and there'll be more more content coming on the on the e-bike so yeah thanks for watching take care and uh see you on the next video see ya